Hey guys, Fazzy back here, and today we are breaking down another retro NHL game. Today's game being NHL 10. So I've kind of been going over my history with these NHL games as we've been going through this series. And really, like I've been saying earlier, NHL 12 was really the first game that I played, I would say, a lot. NHL, I don't know, really from 9 to 11, I would play every now and then, it would be kind of on and off. So I'm looking forward to going back to this and seeing if there's anything here that I remember, don't remember. So we have the intro scene. I do somewhat remember all the legends here lifting the cup. Yeah, Vinny. It was a cool intro for sure. Maybe not as cool as some of the other ones. I know NHL 11s that we looked at. That was a very cool intro to that game. Uh, yeah, we can turn on the auto save. But yeah, I'm curious to go back and see kind of what this game was all about. So it looks like, is this the same thing as an NHL 11 one? It made us like create a pro and then do the skills comp things as a tutorial? I'm not too sure. That was kind of a cool tutorial, I will say that. Like I wouldn't mind seeing something similar come back in new games rather than just throwing you right into a game. Kind of showing you how to take some of the shots or whatever if you're new to the series, doing some skating drills, whatever. But it does appear like it is just the same thing as the NHL 11 that we just looked at. So I'm not going to spend too much time in that for this video since we already kind of went through that. We have our player card here once again. I don't remember anything really about those. That's something yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, all our different items here, all our tabs. You'll notice no hockey ultimate team, NHL 11 that was introduced. You saw the trailer on that last video. Uh, the custom music again, my highlights, where is the EA tracks in this? Can we not see it here? It's got to be here somewhere. Maybe I'm just missing it. It's under settings, extras. Oh yeah, there it is. It's just under settings. That's my bad. This was a very, very good soundtrack. Rock you like a hurricane, fire it up, burn it to the ground. <laughs> Bring back some songs like this, EA, come on. This was just like a golden age of the soundtrack for these games and is really some of the things that I kind of remember most just listening to these awesome songs in the menu as I was playing, playing my GM modes, whatever it was, doing rosters, all that kind of stuff. I'd love to see that come back. Uh, we have the My Pro stuff just for, I'm guessing, be a pro items. Online modes, you have EASHL, you have your just standard online modes that you see in Modern name games for the most part, with the exception of Hockey Ultimate Team, but let's go through some of these rosters here, kind of just jumping around. You have the NHL, the AHL, National League, SHL, uh, Liga, Dell, Extra League. A lot of the leagues you have in normal games. No CHL though, unfortunately. I guess 11 was when it was introduced. You have the legendary Habs team for 100 years. Man, I forgot about that too. It was so weird, like you never had alumni teams back in these games, but you had the 100 year Canadians team. Love to see a guy like Guy Lafleur added back into modern titles, I would say that for sure. But let's go check out some of these rosters here. I think I can actually, yeah, sort by overall here, so I'll go through this very quickly, not going to stop too long. Coal truck looks so young there, it's insane. You have Kessel and the Bruins. You can really see where some of these teams are at back in the day. See how young some of these guys look too, just in comparison to if they're even still in modern games where they look now. You have a guy like Pavel Datsuk at a 92 still, Nathan Horton. I say this every single time and I'm going to continue to say it, just it's crazy. Just looking back on these games and just all the good memories, that's for sure. Danny Heatley on the Sens, Pronger at a 92 on the Flyers. It's crazy. You had Malkin Crosby, both like very, very much still in their prime. Paul Correa on the Blues. Wow. Rough team outside of that. Joe Thornton. My Bolts. Vinny. He's 29 years old back then. Wow, that's nuts. Stammer. Is he a rookie then? 19, so he probably would have one season by then. Leafs. Man, I know you guys aren't thrilled with the team right now, but in comparison, look at what you guys had in NHL 10. It's, wow, Colton Orr was still on the squad back then, wow. Ovi, look at that haircut, oh my goodness, that's insane. 
it's just yeah i love seeing the old pictures and stuff too of uh guys and how they've changed over the years it's nuts but quick look at all the nhl rosters there for you guys comes to offline modes I think everything here more or less was the same. What was this NHL via pro? Oh yeah, you could sort by overall and just take over a player's career or something like that. I don't know if I actually ever messed around with that, maybe very briefly, but eh, kind of vaguely is familiar. Under tournaments, you had the Canadians Cup, I forgot about that. And then obviously no Memorial Cup back in this game because there's no CHL teams. Create a play, practice mode, shootout mode. A lot of the same standard stuff we have, but as we always do, let's go and jump into a franchise mode. I guess we'll just start at the draft. We'll see who is available in that for this year. Let's go and actually not just use my bolts because they're my favorite team, but I think they actually had the second pick in this year's draft. So I want to see if Hedman's actually in the draft class. So I'll meet back with you guys when I'm actually in because I have a feeling it'll take a while to load. So I'll meet you back with you guys in a sec. All right, so like 10 minutes later, we are finally in. Is this the prospects game here, I want to say? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a different logo for it. I guess they changed it up, I guess, after this year. Looking at the top five picks, I don't know any of these names. It's not a great sign. Again, I don't really know what the draft would even really look like in these games, especially since you didn't have the junior teams back then. So I'm guessing there are going to be a lot of made-up guys. We have two... Two trade offers coming in. Andre Waugh, Brandon Prust. Yeah, sure. Why not? Thank you, Calgary. And I get, oops, accidentally hung up on San Jose. But yeah, we do have the second overall pick here in this year's draft. So this really was Victor Hedman. I'm not seeing him here anywhere. I'm actually not seeing anybody here that I recognize. A guy like Hedman, I'm assuming, maybe would have been in this game just because he wasn't in the junior leagues. Like, he was... Uh, SHL, I believe, but I'm not seeing them anywhere. Goalies, I don't see anybody I recognize. It must have just been all AI generated back then. I don't know. Well, just auto draft here, not the end of the world. But yeah, I guess it is interesting to note that there was no real draft picks, I guess, back then, unless you add them in yourself and just assign them to another league. I'm not too sure. I guess this is our free agents. It's a different looking screen than I'm used to seeing with these games. What else do we have here? I think mostly everything here is the same. You have that player types thing again, which is very weird. I don't remember that in the slightest, but you could just change them there, I guess, easy. Player training again. We saw that last video. The XP and growth, it's just a more basic version of what we have now. Just based on overall, you can't see all the statistics of each stat, but. And yeah, I think all this stuff's the same. Contracts. So it just shows literally just a breakdown of everyone that's under contract. Again, we wouldn't have extensions for another, what, 10 years at this point, which is just nuts. I guess, yeah, I guess that is our upcoming free agents. But yeah, I think for the most part, everything else is kind of the same as what we've been seeing in previous years here. Just go up to uh, July 1st here and see who is available in free agency. And then I think we'll probably call it on GM mode here. So let's go sign for agents. Who is available here? Who's the best overall? We have Alex Tonga, 84. Hoodler, 25 years old. Wow. Oh, uh, Patrick Hornquist, 22 years old. He looks so young there. It's, it's nuts. Give him a 2x2. Two two, why not? Is there anyone else here available in for agency? Crazy young guy. There's Rob Niedemeyer. It's interesting. Outside of that. Dominic Moore at 29 years old. He's like 45 now. Uh, goalies, Marty Biron, 31 years old. Legacy. What else do we have down here? Joy McDonald. Kujo. Wow, 42 years old, 74 overall. He's still in the game at this point. This must have been his last year. That's kind of nuts right there. But yeah, I think that's more or less everything that GM mode had to offer back in NHL 2010. Uh, Battle for the Cup, I don't really remember what that was. I'm guessing it's just kind of like a playoff mode. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Last thing I want to do is just jump into some gameplay here quickly. Not going to spend too much time on this. I'm the best at gameplay wise here, as you guys probably know. But let's go find the Thrashers. You have to do the Thrashers and Bolts. 
And settings wise, that's probably all fine. Don't really remember if the intros were any different. They were actually different in the last game, which I was kind of surprised by. Let's see what we have here. So a, lot, a little bit more panning of the crowd. You have the coming out of the locker rooms and the tunnels. You have the spinning logos. Oh yeah, I remember that. So I, they do appear to be a little bit different, I believe. Could be wrong on that, but it does seem a little bit updated or whatever. I kind of wish, like, I really wish they would show us coming out of the tunnels in modern games. Like, we have in the arena that you have to create your own tunnel and all that stuff and assign the colors, so. The presentation on this game is just, yeah, is very, very good. I'd love to see this with modern graphics. Give us, like, the glow stick still. Keep that in there. EA does do some stuff right when it comes to presentation. Actually, a lot of stuff right. Like, it's not bad, but it could definitely be improved upon for sure. But let's get into the gameplay here. I don't even really remember how to play back these games. Give it to Vinny, Oland, oops. Kubina on the Thrashers, but Gojin was there. Come on, Vinny. Can already tell it's a little bit slower. It's not horrible. I guess a lot of these games are just a little bit of a slower pace. Vinny coming in just saved by Carlet in there, I believe. Got a bump on the puck carrier there better contact than I think I've ever gotten in NHL 24, which is kind of sad. Uh, coming in here, take a shot. Paul Ranger, big save by Lettinen. So it, it's it's not bad, honestly. It's a little bit stiff for the most part, a little slow, but it's a game that's from 2010. It, it holds up pretty good in comparison for that. So again, I'm not the biggest gameplay uh, critique or whatever. I'm more just like the modes and everything kind of around the game itself. But just wanted to take a quick look at that for you guys here but i think overall that is going to do it for my retrospective here on nhl 2010 again a very solid game they didn't really change too too much uh, over the years here back in these older games but again it was a solid game for what it was back in the day and honestly was a lot of fun just to kind of go and check out again after all these years probably been i don't know probably 10 12 somewhere in those years since I've last been on it, so it was a lot of fun to check out. But I think that is going to do it for today's video. We will be looking at NHL 2009 in the next one. Not too sure when that'll be, but should be coming to the channel shortly. But until then, I'll see you all in the next video.